Welcome to an experience overview for small signal MOSFETs for portable and mobile applications. My name is André Dressler. I'm Global Marketing Manager in Hamburg, Germany. And what I would like to show you today is an overview about the market and applications for small signal MOSFET for portable and mobile devices. I would like to give you an overview about our portfolio. Then we go a little into details about the event package and we talk about our wafer level chip scale package and our brand new MLPEC 33 package. But first about market and applications. Well, there are so many applications out there. Think about notebooks or laptop computers, fitness tracker or smart watches, headsets, smart speaker or Bluetooth speaker. We are headsets, smartphones, and there are many medical devices like glucose meter or hearing aids. When you look a little more into the application, then you find some very basic circuits like an inverter. It's just a simple small signal MOSFET. And whenever you put the signal on the input, it inverts the signal into the opposite. For instance, you have a low at the input, it inverts the output to a one, and vice versa, you have a one at the input, it inverts the signal into a low. And with this simple application example, with the simple inverter, you can build more logic circuitry. Like a logic NAND gate. Whenever the two inputs have a high or one, then the output will show a low or zero. In any other combination, the output will always be high. Low current load switch is another application example for small signal MOSFETs. We have here two small signal MOSFET. The Q, uh, three MOSFET controls the more powerful Q1 P-channel MOSFET. And this uh, application is used, for instance, in a smartphone to switch on and off uh, small circuitries like um, Bluetooth or the camera. Another example is a discharge switch. Here a small signal MOSFET is used to discharge the uh, capacitor on the output to give a defined low signal at the output. And there's more like discrete level shifters. In today's circuitry, you often have different voltage domain. In our example, it's a 3.3 and a 5 volt voltage domain. Now you have to adapt the signals, the output signals from the 3.3 volt voltage domain to the level requested for the 5 volt voltage domain. And for this purpose, you use small signal MOSFET. It also works vice versa, so the 5 volt a uh, voltage domain signal will be transferred into the level which is required for uh, the 3.3 uh, voltage device. There's one application where really many uh, small signal MOSFETs are used. This is uh, the mobile charging. So any device which is uh, battery driven needs, uh, needs to be charged from time to time. And here the Small signal MOSFETs are used for the over voltage protection, for over temperature protection, as a battery fed, or as a charging switch. A little more about the portfolio. So we have a broad portfolio in Xperia for small signal MOSFETs, and you can cluster the portfolio um, in different uh, segments. First, you can cluster it by the package. So we get leaded packages, leadless packages, and wafer level chip scale packages. And you can cluster it by the RDS on value. So we get the low RDS on fraction and the high RDS on fraction. But for our purpose of uh, mobile application, we ignore the leaded packages. They are simply too big, too bulky. And we focus on the leadless and wafer level chip scale packages for mobile and portable applications. 
the package poster from Nixperia shows the who package landscape which is available. We start with the SOT23, which was uh, developed 50 years ago, 1969, it came out to the market. And this is the uh, base for all modern SMD packages. But for our purpose of uh, mobile application, this package nowadays is too big, too bulky. So we look more on the smaller packages, DFN technology and wafer level chip skill technology, and also on the new MLPEG 33. A little more details about the technology. First DFN stands for discrete flat no leads. So you see here on the graph the package dimension from the smaller package to the bigger ones. And you see the RDS on dimension on the y-axis from the lowest RDS on to the higher. So our DFN package comes with a, a low RDS on but uh, compared to wafer level chip scale, it's relatively high. But when you go up with the size of the DFN package, you can see that the RDS on in the same scale here gets down. To get the lower RDS on, even lower RDS on, you need some certain size of package. This can be either our ML pack 33 or the wafer level chip scale. Regarding the DFN, we got a broad portfolio and channel in the DFN 2020 MD6 package, which is a two by two millimeter package. The D in the package name signals it's with side wettable flanks. Portfolio wise, we got the choice of different voltages, drain source voltage between 20 and 40 volts and different uh, gate source voltages. Also RDS on wise, there is a broad portfolio available. The same is true for the P channel. Also here, different voltages are available. Different RDS on values are available in the DFN with side wettable flanks in two by two millimeters. But for our application of consumer and mobile, we developed a new DFN package, two by two millimeter. It is cost and RDS on optimized and has no side wettable flanks. When you compare the RDS on value, you will see here in this package, we come with lower RDS on because of more bonding wire, copper bonding wire inside, and cost optimized because we don't have the side vertical flanks, which is another step in the process we skip, and we got the different plating here. Coming to smaller sizes, MOSFETs in uh, DFN 1010 or one by one millimeter, we got these package in two different versions, a three pin version and six pin version and in P channel in the three pin version a single transistors and in the six pin version and in P channel duals and complementaries. Even smaller is our DFN 1006 package one by 0.6 millimeter. This package comes in two different 0.5 and 0.37 millimeters. Also here broad portfolio in N P channel different voltages, but it goes even smaller. Just have seen the DFN 1006. We skipped an Xperia, the DFN 0806, and went directly to the DFN 0606, which gives you the same small pitch of 0.35 millimeters. And this is today the smallest package we offer. The products involved are just released. They are brand new. The others are in the market for a few more months. As I said, the package uh, has a size of 0.6 by 0.6 millimeters, 0.37 millimeters high. N and P channel products are available in different voltages. But um, from DFN to wafer level chip scale, so what's the difference? DFN is a plastic encapsulated package. Wafer level chip scale is simply the silicon with solar balls underneath kind of a flip chip technology. But here, as you only have the silicon, the active area is much higher, much bigger, and you have a lower RDS on because your active area is so big. So this gives you a big advantage in the smallest application. Think about smart watches or hearing aids. Also with the bigger silicon, you have a high power capability. So if you look for the lowest RDS on, you would look in the mobile application for wafer level chip scale MOSFET. 
portfolio wise, we have three different versions of this package. A four pin version for the single transistors. We got also a six pin version and a nine pin version. Products N and P channel in different voltage configurations and different RDS on the resistance. And then our brand new MLPEG 33 package. The MLPEG 33 is dedicated for consumer and mobile application. And here you see a, a view inside the package with uh, copper wires, uh, which are used to contact the silicon to the lead frame. We have a big exposed heatsink for low thermal resistance, and we fit on the 3.3 by 3.3 standard market footprint. These are two P-channel products. The N-channels are in the release right now, will become available in the, uh, in the next months. That was it for today. Thank you for watching. And if you want to know more about our offerings, visit nixperia.com slash MOSFET. Thank you very much and goodbye.